Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around, we're doing the build guide for the Revenant. And the Revenant is one of the strongest classes in the game. Uh, it used to be kind of mediocre, but then they changed it uh, to be full physical damage instead of scaling off its max health. Uh, so if you have, if you haven't, well, if you played the Lunar, uh, sorry, not the Lunar Lancer, the Revenant uh, way back, uh, you probably have a lot, a lot of health on the, the whole class. I tried to do that and then um, uh, thank God I didn't get all the way through and got all the health you could get uh, for the class, uh, but changed it back to being all uh, physical. So the, uh, the not I'm, I keep saying the Lunar Lancer, the Revenant is a very, very strong class. It's, and it's all because of its spears and the spears basically drains your life though, but it also does a lot of damage and gives you life back. So the whole trick with this is to uh, use the Vampiric. I have the Barrier on though, but you want to use the Vampiric as your Cosmic Gem because those crit uh, hits that you're going to get back because of course you are going to go for 100% crit and as much crit damage as you can. And of course, I didn't mention this, but it is a physical damage character. So that's going to be your main main goal. Uh, for the If we are now talking about the gems, the... Um, the class gem of the Revenant is not really super needed. What it does is that it reduces or removes kind of the cooldown on uh, this, so you can basically use it all the time. Uh, there is going to be a small cooldown on it because that's mostly the animation, uh, but you don't really need to do that. We used to do that back in the day because the spears didn't really do that much damage, but now that they scale off physical damage and also give some health back and stuff like that, they're actually, actually very, 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 very strong. So that's what people do. They combine it with auto attacking and also using this. So you auto attack while these spears, you can do that at the same time. So that's what people do. And that's why it's gonna, it's very, very strong. So you wanna look for a little bit of attack speed. Don't go overboard with it. Uh, you wanna try, of course, to getting 100% uh, crit hit and as much critical damage and physical. Um, when you get a few dragons, some of them specifically give attack speed. So you can get it from there if you want to, for, for sure. But you wanna look for you know so a little bit of attack speed, critical damage, if you can get it there. Uh, movement speed is also great on him uh, as well. But critical hit and critical damage, very, uh, important to get so uh, get that all the way up there and get the physical damage uh, one thing is also that you do spawn a little guy here uh, that's really unique for the revenant that you can actually uh, well you actually have an extra life so when you you basically took fatal damage you will actually go back to 50 percent health so for allies you want to use the wrapped berserker uh, you can actually because i talk about this in a, a different uh, you know um, uh, oh, I, oh, sorry, that's under the emblems. Anyways, the Wrapped Berserker is what you want to use. There's not really anything else you want to use. Just use the Wrapped Berserker. I was thinking about emblems, sorry. Uh, for Yeah, for allies, you want to use the Wrapped Berserker. That's the only one you really want to look for. Or any, any other uh, ally that gives you like 20% physical damage or give any physical damage, I guess, uh, is what you want to look for. Don't, don't really look for anything else besides that, I guess. Well, Check out if you, again, want to look for what your stats are, uh, basically. For uh, the ring, I use stability, but if you shouldn't use the stability. It's just a placeholder ring I have right here. Uh, but you want to go for physical damage, and then you want to go for either, you know, a critical hit or jumps or something like that. That do help you, you know, making these uh, this better. So stability is just like you don't get pushed back that much. So don't, don't use that as a waste of time. So anyways, down at the flask, you want to use death defying or any other flask also works. And of course you want to use your emblem for the extra physical damage. And that, and also if you are under, uh, I'm a lot under 100%, but uh, use the sure strike if you are under 80% uh, critical hit. If you are above, you should kind of, kind of min max it by because you don't get the full benefit out of it. that's why it's not that good but what i was talking about is actually this a berserking berserker emblem so you can't use your abilities while this is going on but you can act you can activate your spears first and then activate your flask and then it will activate this berserker and give you a good a really good amount of attack speed to to get this and that's just really, really awesome. So one of the few classes that actually can use this because you don't use any other abilities other than you have this running and then you just auto attack to get that life back. Uh, you can also maybe look into the Vampiric here, but no, it's, it's not strong enough. 
Uh, or you can use the dev, uh, unwielding or the trailer blazing if you want to go fast. Uh, but the revenant uh, doesn't use any energy, so you don't have to go for any energy at all. And maybe if you get to 100%, you could look into getting some of these uh, allies. But you probably want to look for actually the berserking, or you maybe want to look for uh, the unwielding and stuff like that. The more uh, not really spawning allies kind of thing in, instead. But yeah, sure strike is very good when you are under that uh, percent. So going back to the gems again, you want to use vampiric here. Uh, you can also use pyro disc. I don't think I have a pyro disc. Stinging curse is also pretty good because you are hitting a lot. But uh, mostly you want to get the explosive or like uh, pyro disc or, or something like that. And again, the uh, <laughs> the uh, the uh, class gem is not needed at all. You probably want to get something different. If I was to play the Revenant, I would take this one out. It is to level 20, so I might actually keep it in just because uh, depending on if I wanted to min-max completely, I would take it. If I was to min-max completely, I would 100% take it out and put something else in and also change these as well. Uh, I wouldn't have the Stinging Curse. I would have the Explosive and I would probably have the Pyro Disc as well if I wanted to go 100%. But I think that more or less covers everything. We also didn't talk about, we, well, we didn't talk much about the Lunar Lancer. Oh, sorry, not the Lunar Lancer, sorry. The Revenant uh, subclass. And of course you wanna use your, uh, you wanna use the Revenant here because of the attack speed. So when that procs, you're just gonna hit that faster. And also you get in that sweet extra 75, 750 physical damage as well. So that's a nice thing as well. But the proc is very, very nice and gives you that amazing attack speed for sure. So. I think that that covers everything you want to know about the Revenant. Uh, so again, uh, toggle on your spears, uh, make sure you're hitting monsters so you heal back. Uh, same with spears because it's, it is going to drain you until you die, basically. That's how it works. Uh, or maybe it actually takes you down to one health after you've procced your little guy here. I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I, I don't play the uh, Revenant that much, actually. So, uh, but it, that is basically the whole thing you want to know about the Revenant. A uh, little bit of attack speed, 100% crit, much crit damage and physical damage is what you want to do. So, uh, again, go down to the comments if you have, if there's if something I missed or something you know, or you're a Revenant main and you know more about this, then people can go down there. And also maybe your question is maybe already answered. You can go down there and check it all out in the comments also check out of course the description and all that and if you like this video make sure you like it and subscribe it helps me out very much and super appreciate it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye